Hey everybody, what's up? This is Reptile Joe. Um, as promised, I stopped down my buddy's shop, uh, Dinky Reptiles and Aquatics. Um, place is awesome. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give you guys a tour of the shop today because I don't want to interrupt his store or his, his customers and that because he's very busy right now. Um, but I'm just kind of in the back room. But I did want to teach you guys and show you. I have this beautiful uh, red and green iguana here. Um, he has really high quality animals, obviously, by the way. And he also uh, has all the supplies and in, in the feeders and everything you need. So if you're in the area, um, he's in Auburn, Massachusetts, um, definitely stop down. Um, if not, he also ships, you know, he'll ship to anywhere in the country. So I'll look him up online, you know, Dickie Reptiles and Aquatics. Uh, with that being said, I just want to show you guys. So a little bit of lesson, you know, on the baby iguanas, you know, these little guys here. Uh, they are actually the same idea as like Joanna was. I like to do the walk the ladder. This is like kind of a hatchling. So she, this is very young. Um, but even as they get older, they get a little bit crazier. Their teenage state. Um, I mean, this is probably a couple, maybe a month, month too old. So, you know, even when they get six, six months, they're still a little bit bonkers. Um, they do chill out. So, but I just wanted to show you, you just keep their mind off stuff and you just keep them going, let them explore. Don't restrain them. You never want to grab their tail, anything like that, especially at this age. Um, you don't want to drop them either. So make sure you're, you have them secure, especially as babies. They may want to jump, especially when they get a little bit older than this, even a few weeks older than this, they may want to leap. Um, they could definitely hurt their legs, um, any of their toes, anything like that. So you, you just, you really want to be careful with that. Um, but other than that, you kind of just only want to handle them, you know, for maybe 10, 15 minutes a day at a time, you know, here and there, maybe twice a day you could do that. Um, but you just always want to make it be a good experience, a positive experience for them. Um, when you put them back, you know, you want to make sure they're happy. You know, you just, you want to be careful with the babies. You do not want them jumping out of your hands. You don't want to have to grab them by the tail or anything like that because you can break very easily and we don't want to do that to them. All right, guys. So this is just, we're going to, well, I'm going to go back to my uh, facility and we can get into some of the larger ones. We'll check out Joanna again, but I just wanted to show you uh, my friend, Brian Chums. He's so awesome. He let us stop down, borrow this guy real quick to show you, um, you know, how we handle babies. It's essentially the same way. Um, you know, the older they get, obviously it gets a little bit more bonkers, just like when you have a kid, um, the top, you know, their babies, they don't do much. And as they get in their toddler state and, you know, teenagers and so on and so forth, you just, you go through the stages with the reptiles too. So, uh, that being said, um, I'm going to sign out right now. This is Reptile Joe. I'm down at Dinky Reptiles and Aquatics. Definitely check this place out either online or stop down if you're in the area. What's up, everyone? This is Reptile Joe. I'm um, just getting back from my buddy Brian Chumsey's store at Dinky Reptiles and Aquatics. Like I said, again, if you guys live in the Auburn Mass area, the Worcester area, uh, come on out and see us. Um, place is awesome. The great deals, all quality um, products. Uh, feeders, you know, anything you need for your animals as well as real awesome, cool animals. You you know, you're not going to find a pecker and that kind of thing. Um, anyways, I'm just getting back to the den. Like I said, um, I just had to grab some food myself. Came back from lost some crickets from them. Uh, I grabbed some rats and mice and stuff that I need too, but those are in the other uh, freezer. Uh, so we're going to go in right now. Um, I have no idea, actually, to be honest with you, what my room looks like. I haven't been in there since last night, so... I don't think it's too messy, but uh, we'll hey guys, see. Like I said, just bear with me. I'm not sure exactly what the room looks like right now. I mean, I know it's not messy or that messy, but uh, I do know. I haven't been in here yet today. Like I said, because I had to stop by my buddy. And I had to grab food uh, from everywhere else for these guys. Um, but I will show you one little cheat thing I do with the, with the lizards. Um, when I don't have a lot of time during the week, um, is I actually grab these fresh uh, shredded collard greens. Uh, and that's some of your, you know, your big box store you'll have. Some of the small stores might not. I do love cutting them up fresh for them, don't get me wrong. But um, I just wanted to show you that. It's really quick. It makes it easy if you're in a rush in the morning, or, you know, at night or whatever. Uh, and obviously, we need to feed them every day when we have lizards. Uh, it's not like the snakes or some of the tortoises. Uh, you know, I don't recommend feeding the tortoises every day, but we'll get into that with our, with our tortoise, um, you know, segment. Um, but now we got, I just want to show you guys, I got the Gray's Tree Frogs. Love these guys, they're awesome. Uh, I've had them for a little while now. Uh, they sound like a group of uh, 
as soon as he sounded like a group, like I have a, like a batch of monkeys out here at night, so it's pretty neat. Uh, we're just gonna give you guys a tour of the reptile den real quick. Uh, again, I haven't been home today. I had to work my regular job, and then, you know, I stopped down, you know, like I said, my buddy Dinky's, um, so, you know, so we could check out the baby iguana. But um, that's my buddy Tank. Uh, so, you know, every day I gotta come home, I do this. I got to, you know, I gotta do all water changes. Uh, you know, I feed who needs to be fed. Um, you know, I'll show you some of the arachnids. You know, it's my girl in here. I don't wanna bother her though, but so you guys can see some of the stuff. Um, scorpions under there. Uh, we got the dune scorpion, which you can see he's posted up right now on top of his cave. Um, really cool scorpion. I've had him for a while now. Uh, pretty, pretty, um, high, high, high count with the venom. So, don't, you know, you don't want to mess with them or anything like that. And then down here, same thing. I have the African, um, Congo scorpion where again, very high venom count. I keep my crickets in there. You don't need to see that. Uh, we got a little foot. She's running, she's running home in her cave, but. Give you guys a quick little look at that. And she's pretty cool set up here. She has me, so she wants to, maybe she'll come back out. There she is. She loves it. Hey, little foot. Hey, baby. She's awesome. Uh, again, I work with these guys every day. They know the sound of my voice. They're used to me. Um, all my animals like that. They do the shows with me. Come on, little foot. Come on, girl. I mean, they absolutely love me. But again, I've been doing this. I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this forever. So I've been taming these guys and doing educational shows like this. So this is what I do. Uh, but I wanted you guys to see. I was gonna do a uh, you know a cool video on the entire den today, I guess, and, and the iguanas. Um, so, but the, you know, the iguana taming. I showed you the baby earlier at my buddy's shop. Uh, but this is Yoshi here. She's awesome. We'll get into her. She's a, she's a sailfin dragon. Um, her sail's starting to grow, but it's female, so I won't get that big. Um, but she's really cool. We'll, we'll definitely do a segment on her. Um, I'm going to move on here. I got my buddy Tyson. Um, he's awesome. He's huge. Uh, before anybody says anything about how, you know, he's in too small of an enclosure. Um, he doesn't live in this enclosure. Uh, it's just really where he's locked up at night. Um, he's not always, you know, like this. Uh, he's pretty much free roaming with me. As you can see, you can check out my uh, Facebook page or anything else on the J&J &J Reptile Show and see that he's always out and about with me. Um, so this is just kind of where he sleeps at night. This is his bed. So it's, uh, it's not too bad. Um, also, he, like I said, he's always in the house with us, but I lock him up here because my, my the reptile den is regulated. Uh, it does not get below 80 degrees. So with the open air cages, I also have misters with the humidity. Um, it's, the room is, itself is completely regulated for these guys. So I'd save your spot for them. I would never leave them locked up in an enclosure like that. And uh, of course I have plans in the future to just give them a giant enclosure in here. Um, but right now, this is what we're, you know, this is what I'm, you know, the cards I'm dealt. So we got my blue tongue skink here. And then we're gonna move on. Snickers, it's a ball python in there. Obviously he's hiding. We got Leon, he's awesome. He's always out and about. Uh, Joanna. I know all about her, everybody, right? But she's awesome. I uh, got Stella over here. And I'm gonna do segments on all these guys. Uh, you know, the, the bearded dragons and all the different reptiles that I do have. Um, but again, let's see if we got anything we can see in here. We got Snappy right here. He's hanging out. A little baby Snapper. He's awesome. So he's doing great. Um, everybody else in there is doing great. So uh, I want to show you guys. We got the Hermans here. 
Again, obviously he spills water. I'm gonna give him water right now. I just got home. He's good. These guys are so cute. The Hermans are fun too. Um, they're all great tortoises. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, uh, just let me know. Um, I think I'm gonna touch on the larger iguanas tomorrow because it's getting late. I don't wanna keep, uh, I don't wanna stress anybody out or mess with them. So uh, I'm gonna sign out for tonight. This is Reptile Joe and we'll see you tomorrow.